special guests in the studio this morning. We've got a couple of kids and their spunky mum. Hello, happy Wednesday. Yeah, hello. <laughs> um, Jackie Goldston and her gorgeous children, Freya, who is four, and Declan, who is seven, seven. are with us. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Now, Jackie, um, lots of locals know you from your kids on the coast work because you're the editor there. But you're frantically doing amazing work as well. Um, when it comes to diabetes, because little Freya, who's four, has diabetes. That's right. Freya was diagnosed with diabetes when she was 11 months old. And at that time, I had no idea what it meant to have diabetes. I didn't know the difference between type 1 or type 2. And so there was a very, very steep learning curve for me. Uh, Type 1 diabetes is something that cannot be cured and cannot be prevented. There are no lifestyle implications. And so for us, it means that Freya is tested, her blood on her finger, every three hours and that she gets five needles every day of insulin. So you're born with type 1. It's not, you know, you said you've had all sorts of ridiculous things thrown at you. You should have breastfed longer. You shouldn't have given her lollies. Absolutely. So, no, type 1 diabetes is something that is in your genes. It's not necessarily hereditary, but what it does mean is at some point you probably will get diabetes, type 1 diabetes, throughout your life. Mm. Freya, you are perfect. You're in your 1920s tassel black velvet dress, clearly a fashionista. But what does it mean, Jackie, for, I mean, having five needles a day is not great. And every three hours for a blood test, does that mean through the night as well? All through the night. Every night I'm up at 11 and 2 and I go swimming, as we were talking about earlier, most mornings. So I I test her at 4.30 before I go and exercise. So it's a diet, it's a diet, it's a lifestyle, which for me is a lot of testing. When they do get older, they become more stable in their 20s and 30s. So often adults don't test as often overnight. But for a child and for the parents of children with type 1 diabetes, there's a lot of caffeine involved in our life. Yeah. We really like caffeine. Well, yeah, I didn't know that. Like, I thought when you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding little bubbers and that kind of ends at six months, you hope they'll sleep through. But you've got 20 years of it. I do. I do. And I'm not sure when she moves out of home how I'll cope. I'll probably be texting her at two o'clock in the morning. Honey, what are you? I was going to say, when she's married uh, and she's got a couple of the kids of her own, you'll still be ding dong. Hey, I know. Freya, just drop it in yeah. if you don't mind. Do you mind. pity her poor husband? will be interfering <laughs> mama number one. Oh, no. you're going to be a well hardcore mother-in-law. It's a hard being a mum, isn't it? You've got so many worries always. Um, but your goal, and this is around Australia as well, is to raise awareness not pity when it comes to people with diabetes. Absolutely. It's really important to know that these people can live really full, happy, healthy lives and do almost anything anybody else can do. Um, It's just a matter for them that they have to be very, very diligent in monitoring their blood glucose levels. I mean, we run a low GI diet and that just works really well for Freya and for for all of us. Um, But you can eat anything. It just is, is a matter of monitoring and, you know, everything in moderation. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Well, let me tell you, uh, Freya may have what we're talking about, type 1 and juvenile diabetes, because it's National Diabetes Week, and we're putting the spotlight on juvenile diabetes, but she's still a cheeky monkey. She is a cheeky monkey. (laughs) There's a cheeky monkey in the studio. Declan is her big brother. Mate, mate, you might need to tighten the leash on that cheeky monkey. (laughs) She's going crazy. Um, So, obviously, people can get more information uh, on the National Diabetes Register, but when it comes to juvenile diabetes... Like what, what are some of those signs? Because you're talking about Freya being diagnosed at 11 months of age. That's so young. It is. It, it was very young and we had no idea. Over a week or two, her breathing had become more rapid. And because she was so young, it was December on the Sunshine Coast. Mm. The last thing you're going to think of is drinking more water. So she was drinking or she was still being breastfed. So she's actually breastfeeding more. She was drinking more water and she had more wet nappies. And they're all symptoms of type 1 diabetes, but again, they're hard symptoms to pick up. Oh, totally. Um, So weight loss is another symptom, which, again, in a baby who's starting to walk, you're not necessarily noticing these things. And even in older kids, you don't necessarily notice. So it is important that doctors and parents are diligent and keep an eye out for symptoms that just aren't quite right. And rapid breathing is a really um, key one. That's the final stages before... Um, they go into coma. So. Right. It's well, you did well because everyone, you know, all those symptoms you said, everyone's like, oh, every baby's different and it's hard at that age to pick anything up. It is. Well, locals can help because you're organising a big walk on August the 18th. Absolutely. And that's at Cotton Tree Park. So visit the jdrf.org.au website to find more information about the Walk to Cure Diabetes at Cotton Tree. But we'd love to have everyone down there. 
Uh, you can register beforehand. There's going to be jumping castle and an animal farm. There's going to be face painting and um, a silent auction. So lots of stuff. Oh, and, of course, a barbecue. Yeah, can't have, hey, can't there, have a, an there awareness is no day. no event around this great nation that can he be lifted to new heights Without the use of a sausage sizzle. Absolutely. Everyone loves the sausage sizzle. Uh, so the website again is jdrf.org.au for more uh, more information. Brilliant. All right, Jackie, we, we'll stay on it too because it's such a big thing and it's such an important cause. You need to scat to get to work uh, and to get Declan to Brightwater. You two are the one of the newest schools on the Sunshine Coast. Thank you for coming in thank and sharing you so your much. story. And thank you, Freya, for letting Mummy share your story. You're amazing. On you, Freya. I'm just going to call up the people at Milford Lodge, which is where Freya goes because she's in prep next year, <laughs> and just let them know that there's a cheeky monkey on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have enough bananas? <laughs> Good on you guys. Thanks for that. 7.29, news on the way. Hot 91.1.